This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by Netflix. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the tools, concepts, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and uh, this week I'm playing with Wake. It's an awesome add-on for your uh, Linux system if you're running GNOME, as opposed to like KDE. And it's so cool because what it does is it gives you a spiffy terminal that might be a little reminiscent to Quake. Or actually, most first-person shooters these days still have this. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the debug console. Typically, it's the tilde key, or sometimes control tilde, to pull down a top third command prompt, in this case, that's gonna allow you to just quickly pop into the shell for those tasks that you need to do real quick. And I like it because it's always on top, you can customize it, it's really pretty, and you know, it goes away and comes back whenever you need it, very quickly and easily. And uh, you know, don't need to worry about managing a bunch of windows, you know, doing control alt T and stuff. So if you're on, say, a Debian-based system like I am in Ubuntu here, it's really easy to get started with this guy. All you do is, in this case, I've already done it, a sudo apt-get install guake. And so it's already gone ahead and installed here, and I can find it under Applications and Accessories, and it's the guake terminal. And so it's already running. You see over here it says press F12 to use it. So if I hit F12, voila. Okay. First of all, major customization needs to be made because this isn't to my liking. Right click, hit properties, and you're gonna see all of the different cool stuff you can do with this. First of all, uh, your interpreter. This right here is what shell are you gonna be using? Since my default is bash, I'm gonna leave it as is, but if say I wanted to use screen, if I have a bunch of stuff running in a screen session, that could be really useful. Um, and then you can also set it to run different commands every time you uh, open it, and you know, things of that nature. I'm gonna leave the tray and, you know, stuff like that. The, the major things that I like to do, personally, is I go to appearance, I change the uh, transparency to mostly all the way down, um, and then I will go ahead and change on the general tab, the, um, where is it, the tab bar. And I'm not a big fan of it. To do your tabs, it's just like in the regular terminal that you would find in, uh, uh, in your OS in that control page up and page down are the keyboard shortcuts, as you can see right here, to go to the next and previous tab, control shift T to create a new tab, control shift W, just as you may already be used to in terminal. So personally, I feel like you don't need those tabs. They kind of clutter it and, you know. The other thing that I do is since I, I come from a gamer root, land party fun, is that I will come down to uh, toggling the visibility. Normally it's F12. I like control tilde. I wish I could just use tilde, but it turns out that that key is kind of useful in, uh, in Linux. So I'd make it control, well, it's actually back tick since you're not hitting shift. And, uh, and there we go. So I will go ahead and close that and boom, control back tip. Tick, and there you go. I have, you know, I can easily toggle that back and forth. And so no matter where I am in my OS, it'll always be on top. Now in just a bit, we're gonna get into one essential Gwake tip, but first, let's take a quick break. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, your Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash HAK5 and sign up now. Netflix is now available in the UK and Ireland. Our viewers over there can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash hack5 or netflix.ie slash hack5. All right, before I let you guys go, I need to tell you that once you have all this set up and running, you are gonna definitely need to issue the command, and I'll do this in my Gwake window here, gnome ses dash session dash properties and close our Gwake window. And you'll notice these are all of the applications that runs when uh, GNOME starts up. And there is Gwake, and it is not, it's by default not checked. So all we wanna do, check that, that right there, hit close, and now every time I start up my, in this case, my Ubuntu box and log into GNOME, I can hit Control tilde, just like I always have back in Doom and Quake and everything else. I guess not Doom, maybe Doom 3. I think I needed a flashlight. Anyway, what, uh, what tips do you guys have for me? What 
awesome terminal emulators are you using? Hit us up, tips at hack5.org, and be sure to head over to hack5.org to find our sister show, where you'll find us every week reminding you to trust your technolust. And, uh, you know, tips, ooh, my mic just fell off.